안녕하세요. Hello, K friends. Last week I introduced a popular ingredient, denjang. Today I want to show one of the most famous cuisines using denjang. It's a denjang jjigae, a flavor and delicious stew. Let's get started. Pour three cups of water into a pot. Add some radish. Add half an onion. Add about 10 dried anchovies. Add two pieces of medium-sized kelp. Boil for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, take out the kelp first. And boil for another 10 minutes over medium-high heat. Cut the potatoes in half, then cut in half again and cut into bite-sized pieces. Cut half the chicken into bite-sized pieces. Also, cut the onion into appropriate sizes. I will cut the tofu into larger chunks. If you have mushrooms, add some. You can skip it if you don't have it. Also, finely means three cloves of garlic. Cut two green onions into appropriate sizes. You can also add one green chili pepper or red pepper. I'm going to use one red pepper. The vegetables for the soybean paste stew are ready. And if you have a pork at home, slice a little. I like to use the pork with a bit of fat on it. The pork I use today is the samgyeopsal, pork belly. If you don't have a pork, you can omit it. This is Korean tukbegi, Korean earthenware pot. If you don't have a tukbegi, you can use a regular pot. Pour in two cups of broth that was previously boiled. Add about three tablespoons of soybean paste. Put the potatoes in first. Be careful when adding ingredients to the broth as it may splatter and add onion. Boil it for 3 minutes over high heat. When the potatoes start to boil, add the zucchini and mushrooms. And add the pork too. If you like a bit more spiciness, add a half a tablespoon of red pepper powder to taste. Boil for an additional 5 minutes. Remove the foam that rises when boiling. Add half a tablespoon of minced garlic as well. Add the tofu, cut into large pieces. Lastly, add green onions and red pepper. At this stage, check the seasoning and add a little salt if it is blunt and pour a little more broth if it is salty. Well boiled soybean paste stew is really delicious if you put it on top of freshly made rice and mix it. Flavor and comforting denjang jjigae is done. Eating this stew with rice is a famous Korean staple. I hope you can give it a try. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. 감사합니다. 안녕히 계세요. Bye bye.